wipe the chicken across the road to get to the other side. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. This is your brother, Ja. Shh, coming at you with another walk from Oahu. It's about 6.45. You can still hear the roosters. But yo, hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, it's good to get the day started early here because we're getting into the warm season. Things are starting to heat up. But yo, check it out, man. What's up with the, the Israelis continuing to bomb the Palestinians? You know, are they ever going to stop? Is anybody going to stop? I know they're saying Hamas is going at it with Israelis. You know, Hamas has to, has to know that they're outgunned. That they're just putting innocent people in harm's way. Likewise, it's the Israelis too. Everybody wants to claim ownership over the land. But uh, too bad, you know because God owns all the lands. And uh, if they keep going at it, they're going to destroy themselves and they're gonna destroy innocent people. And they're gonna have a worse afterlife for doing those evil things than they are having currently. It's just the truth, man. But people who don't understand that the universe Allah Hayyam doesn't work on time like we do, you know? We work within time. The Most High is without time. You know, the Most High doesn't have to be bound by our rules of time. And it's just straight up. So everyone's gonna get what they deserve eventually when they least expect it to. So when you get it, you better be satisfied with it, right? Ja. Hey man, I was walking and um, I found, I think, a persimmon. Check it out. It looks to be in pretty good condition too. Although it's um, been a long time since I've seen one of these. I don't remember there being fuzz on, pers on persimmons. It smells kind of like a tomato mixed with the apricot. You know, that's the beautiful thing about walking out here in Hawaii. You may find some fruits that are growing over people's fences that fall. Hey man, if you see it and it's in good condition, pick it up. You can have you a treat. <laughs> Although I have to remember how to peel or how to use a persimmon, but hey, it is what it is, right? <laughs> But yeah, so dealing with that conflict. Hey, good morning. Dealing with that conflict, um, it's interesting that uh, the Israelis. First of all, it's interesting that the Israelis actually think that they're so-called Israelites, or that they're, you know, that that that's the land. I mean, and, and anybody who really does their history would know that um, the so-called Israel of modern times is not Israel at all, and that the true Israel is in the South, right? Um, and there's a lot of people out there who touch upon it, upon the truth. One of them, they call him the Black Indiana Jones. His name is uh, um, Amariel Hauschewa. You know, he has a lot of doctrines and he's got a lot of you know, filtered down things as we all do, who's part of this dispersion of, um, of ancient peoples identifying ourselves. Yet, uh, he's got some, uh, he's walked the land, he's got some maps, he's got some evidences, and uh, y'all should check him out, man. Instead of just pulling from strings, y'all need to, y'all need to check out people who are actually walking in the lands and going to these places, you know, for the truth, which is subjective, perhaps. But check it out, though. Did y'all know 
that Eden is actually, if you're looking at a map today, Eden itself is a huge land, right? But um, it, uh, it, can, it relatively consists of Shem's land to this day. Eden, at least the origin points of the rivers of Eden, is basically below Iceland, Greenland. If you're looking at a modern day map, but y'all have to remember that you have to take into account that topography has changed since the whole world was flooded. But back in the day, there's these huge rivers coming from out of Eden. And if you look at the directions given in the scriptures, then you would see where they went. There was actually a river that went all the way around Africa. But see, some of y'all don't do your history. So you think that when the Bible says Ethiopia, it's only talking about that little place today. When Ethiopia used to be considered all of Africa. So just got to go do your studies, man. You know, there's a whole lot of rivers. The main four rivers from Eden circumvented the world, man. The whole globe, so to speak. All the continents. The rivers used to be that big. But some of y'all don't know how to look at maps. You know, you got to understand that the ocean levels have risen. Ancient times. Ancient, ancient times. I mean, look at all the chicks, man. These chickens just be having chickens, man. <laughs> right? But they're living it up up here in the, in the hills because there's a lot more food. Below the hills, man, they're really searching. Chickens don't be looking plump or nothing. Right? <laughs> so, yeah. Back to Eden, man. So, the rivers. The rivers of Eden. Flowing out of Eden. So, y'all got to understand that, man. Y'all not looking at... Y'all looking at recent maps. You know? The Garden of Eden was east of Eden. It wasn't in where it wasn't where the rivers were flowing from east east is a long ways it's at the easternmost points you know so technically if if eden was the point the starting points of eden was near iceland greenland and So you just got to peep, peep the knowledge, man. And that would make the Garden of Eden, which is its own place in Eden, around the Philippine areas. And if you really understand it, you'd understand why that land is the more ancient land. All of your religions, um, you know, the Indus Valley religions, some of the oldest that they can quote unquote date. But if you want to go back to the ones you can't date to mythology, then of course you have to think about Ethiopia, you know, and not the modern day Ethiopia, which is actually Abyssinia, right? So there's just a lot of knowledge out there for the taking. You know, a lot of people, you want to use knowledge for their own advantage, you know, trying to get up on people, get one up on people. But knowledge, man, it's something that it will work against you, you know, because you don't have any control over it. You just want to use it. Unfortunately, it tends to be to show that it works against us when we try to use it like that. Hey, here's an avocado tree, but it's not blooming right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a little bit of knowledge. Yeah. Oh, was I talking about Israel? Israel is not the 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 real Israel, right? 
Oh, chickens done raided the trash can, man. Look at that. Ain't that a bitch? Got him. <laughs> Look at that. Raided the trash can, man. Yeah, modern day Israel. The real Israel is actually in the south and encompassed a lot of what uh, Ethiopia is today. You know, y'all got to put the puzzle pieces together, man. How do you think these Ethiopian emperors were able to be lions of the tribe of Judah? Because that was Judah territory. But y'all get it mixed up because y'all don't understand Semitic languages are intertwined and people spoke more than one language. People were able to communicate with each other from Amharic, Aramaic, Phoenician, Assyrian, you know, these Semitic languages. People were able to communicate with each other. So, you gotta understand how things connect. This beautiful morning out here, Koalua mountain range. There's a waterway down there, a little bit of low tide. It's good to get out here and walk, you know. I don't do enough of it, to be honest with you. But I should, man, because these views are breathtaking. For real. And it feels good to chime in with y'all. Yeah. It does get pretty loud by these roads. Nah, I mean. But just to uh, recap my earlier discussion, again, the land of Israel, as it's called today, is not the Israel of old. Y'all need to look towards the south. They fighting over land. That's not even what it is. You know, if, if the world communities weren't so stupid, then they would just, uh, they'd let them just fight over it and just get the people out of there who don't need to be there that are in the middle of it, you know? And then move them actually to the south, you know, move them to where the real so-called Israelites are, you know? Y'all don't understand, man, that Suleiman, the Arabic, conqueror or whatnot they got him mixed up with Solomon and Suleiman did a lot of reconstruction up there in the modern day Israel so them cats thought that that was Solomon so you know what I mean people ignorant of the, their own history of the land calling it what it ain't you know, they're not finding persimmons on the side of the road. And they could. See out here, I don't know if you can see that vehicle with the blue light on top. That's pretty much all you, that you see from police out here. They have blue lights. Someone's over there selling some beautiful tropical flowers. Y'all see that? Yeah, seeing y'all wonder why the rulers, you know, the kings, the Ali'i out here donned such beautiful garments. It's because look at the, look at the environment, look at the plants that, that they get to uh, see. Naturally, they pattern themselves off nature. Smart.
Yeah. Beautiful morning, man. You know? Yeah. Probably is a distraction. This whole Middle East, so-called Israelite, Israeli scuffle, because people are getting paid off of that. These warmongers get paid off of stuff like that, you know? And I'm sure that's what's happening over there. That's why they keep it going. People want to talk about Middle East, you know, peace. Yo, I've always thought that so-called gangsters always want to kill each other, right? Dark skins, peoples trying to kill dark skinned peoples all the time. Why don't they just focus their, uh, their energy on killing these wicked elitists? But they don't want to do that, do they? They so ready to go to jail and they're ready to be locked up over killing each other but they're not ready to go die for something that they won't get recognition for. So it's just a stupid game, man. It's a real stupid game. Real stupid game, man. When does it end? You know, when do we stop killing each other over bullshit? Oh, look at the fish. I guess you can't fish from this uh, this bridge, otherwise you definitely find some. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, man, a little bit of low tide, so it's cool to see the banks. It's a, a distributary. I can look on that side, see what I'm seeing. Human beings. <clears throat> you know, and in case y'all didn't know, you know, a lot of uh, the so called oceanic peoples. Polynesian peoples, so-called. Um, if y'all was really looking at the, the map right, then you'd see that it was uh, truly ham. Most of them are ham. Just because of where they fall along the divisions of Ham, Shem, and Japheth, right? So Shem is majority of Asia all the way over to I guess you might say close to Egypt you know including the modern day Jordan Gaza all of that is Shem and also going north right into parts of uh, what would be considered Russia so Ham has the, Ham has the hotter climates, so to speak, you know, Australia, Africa, those places, very close to Shem. And Japheth, of course, has the more, more northernish areas, North America, most of North America, um, you know, Europe. But Y'all got to understand that all throughout history, everybody intermingles and everybody gets down with each other, right? So everybody's mixed up, man. Especially now, a lot, a lot of us are mixed, man. You just got to realize the realization. But still there are tribes and peoples that are isolated. And that's got to be, man. There's got to be remnants. So people don't forget, you know, that's why we fight for freedom out here in Hawaii.
bring the Hawaii kingdom back because there was nothing wrong with the way that it was ran before except that there was too many, too much interfighting and you know when there's interfighting amongst peoples it's always going to be something that leaves them open to be conquered by outside forces that's just that's the basics when it comes to warfare you know It's just basics, man, when it comes to warfare. It is what it is, though, yeah. So I might go back and edit this so that I cut out all the gaps between when I'm speaking, but, you know. Sometimes you got to take pause moments. You're out doing your thing, bunch of little chickens. <laughs> yeah, man. So, a lot of you so called Israelites out there. Y'all um, need to realize that a lot of you are Ham, a majority Hamites, you know? I have a lot of Hamite blood, for real. Even after taking two diff different DNA uh, exams, then the majority of them came out the same with a little bit of variation, but... Yeah, man, mostly West African. But of course, we realize that in the dispensation of Hebrews or Asiatics, then they went to the West so and then intermingled. So Shem and Ham got down for a minute. And that's just the thing, man. That's just the thing y'all gonna have to come to grips with that you wanna claim being royal, you wanna claim to have power, then there's your power, man. Your power is in Shem. Jan, Shem, Ham, and even Japheth to some extent because look at all the, the things that so-called Japheth has uh, been able to use and spread. It was all technology. It was all civilization and culture from the Hamites and the Shemites, the Asiatics, right? So of course, I'm just speaking in biblical terms to those out there who still live and learn that way. But we all know that modern days, it's a human thing, man. We are humans. Hugh, man. And I always say this, man. I've repeated this. That um, since we're dealing with color issues like black, white, brown, then um, you should know that. There's no way that a white race could ever get rid of a darker race without getting rid of themselves because that's where they come from. Even nature knows that light comes from darkness. So if they have a grand scheme or had a grand scheme of something in the past, it would have been more so of dividing people's so that they're easier to control because they know that they couldn't destroy the so-called blacks from the world, man. And I cringe even talking about it because that's laughable, right? But uh, we have seen genocide throughout time. It's a damn shame, man. These things are things that Way on my heart and my mind, man. You know, besides the regular everyday work stresses, you know, trying to get me a new 
job position because I've been doing the one that I'm doing for a while now and it's, I think I'm just getting stagnant. I'm not finding any, um, I'm not finding any creativity out of it. So I think another challenge is in order, something that I can be enthusiastic about. Yeah, you know, because being stagnant, it's just, you know, I work with merchandising, so having, after having watched over two teams, I come to realize that, especially out here in a high volume system of sales, that you're going to always have the same problems. Whenever you're dealing with high volume stores, the main grumble that customers have is you're out of stock and that they can't find an item. They're not really worried about the presentation, how, how it looks, you know, unless you're dealing with appliances, of course, and things that you have to use displays for. But for everything that people just come into Home Depots for, they want to just get their items and go. So unless Home Depot starts to gear itself around this model in places that it's high volume, they're going to continue to get grumbles and the workflow. It's just got to be more adaptable. It doesn't seem to me that the people at Home Depot are adaptable to areas well, right? You know, I mean, their headquarters is in, is in Atlanta, so they don't really get to experience small islands, right? They're more so con more so uh, concerned with the mainland, the things that go on in larger cities, you know? And sorry if it's boring. I know um, my voice is very monotone and, uh, you know, I'm enjoying the scenery as I walk too. So that's why I pause a lot because it's just fun looking. But anyhow, I'm not sure what else I could cover. I'm not trying to proselytize and not, I'm not trying to get so-called blacks to realize they're Israelites. I'm not trying to get anybody to realize they're anybody other than who they are, which is part of the Most High, which is a being in this realm, which is a being in this place, upon this earth, in the physical frame, and we have jobs to do, man, and no, there's nothing wrong with fighting for what you are going to fight for, man, you fighting for black power, then you fight for it, if you fighting for the LGBT community, you feel like that's where your power is, then you fight for it, right, because it's going to be what it's going to be. And it, the, it, the, the end result is going to be the end result, right? But just know this, that the Most High doesn't care about that, about LGBT and black power. The Most High can, cares about you doing righteousness to others. That's just the bottom line, man. If you can't figure out how to do that, then I don't know, you know? Just be righteous and spread righteousness through your seeds, through your words, through your deeds, you know, because you're always going to be disappointed when they, you find out the truth or you're going to be liberated when you find out the truth, right? Right. All right, y'all. Peace.